Good morning. I'm Brian Decker, and today we're going to talk about the grafting of Incaro rhododendrons. Incaro rhododendrons are a type of rhododendron that was developed in Germany back in the mid 80s as a lime tolerant or pH uh, neutral tolerant rhododendron. Uh, this is an example of a one year Incaro rhododendron, which we are growing so that we can get cuttings off of those to use as rootstocks. If you take and graft a uh, typical rhododendron, and the, this is a Nova Zembla, a red blooming rhododendron, onto an Incaro rhododendron rootstock, you will gain the attributes of the plant being able to survive under higher pH or neutral pH conditions that it would not typically be able to survive. This is a one year graft of a Nova Zembla rhododendron you can see the healed graft incision here. The plant grew last year and it has been pruned back a little bit prior to it being potted up into a larger container this year. I personally believe that when you go from a plant such as a small little cutting like this rootstock is here to a one gallon in one year that has actually been pruned quite hard for cutting wood already previously this winter, that part of the reason for the plant's ability to um, tolerate uh, higher pH soils is simply a tremendously more vigorous plant and vigorous root system. Uh, this plant normally blooms a light pink and is available in the trade as Lake Erie Pink, I believe is the cultivar name, um, as is ungrafted. But if we graft this with Nova Zembla, Rosy Melagans, Borsol, Trinoides, many, many, many possibilities we have the opportunity here to take rhododendrons throughout the United States to different uh, landscape uh, uh, areas where they may be able to survive where they couldn't be a possibility before. So this does open up tremendous garden opportunities. Uh, this plant has been in the United States for around a decade or so as it's been trying to get established and develop a form of propagation here that allows it to successfully graft. Um, so we hope this plant proves to be as successful as we think it will and uh, if the vigor of this is any indication I think we have an excellent root system for these proven North American varieties in the future.